Yo, so now that you got the credit, now that you're working on it, y'all want to know exactly what you do with it, what you can do with it. And I'm about to give y'all some sauce right now, so y'all won't be broke out here. I'm going to show y'all some dope plays, so let's go straight into it. All right, so let's say, all right, look, first I'm going to say this. When you got a credit card, when you got credit cards, like multiple, you are now an investor. Get that in your mind. You now have enough money to invest, not into just you. You got money to invest into other people. All right, so find people who need money. Everybody need that, right? So photographers, videographers, small business owners, barbers. Uh, it's a million businesses out there, a million small businesses. Find these people, ask questions. Simple as this. Let's say you find a photographer or a videographer, right? Yo, my name is such and such. I'm an investor, right? Is there anything that you would need in your business to make your business better? And they like, yo, it's this new camera that's out. If I had it, I could shoot better quality stuff, this, that, and the third. You say, okay, how much is it? They show you this right here. Alpha, you know, 7.4, right? The Sony Alpha 7.4. Boom. Shoots 33 megapixels, shoots 4 or 5K, 6K, 7K, whatever. It's $2,600. So what you do... Come over here to chat GBT after you talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I got the money on my card. I could buy that for you today. All I ask is that I get a certain percentage of the business, right? Until it's paid back and a little extra interest or whatever. So you go to chat GBT, you type in, you know, create me a peer-to-peer -peer lending contract for photography equipment or whatever. You could just say whatever you want to in there. They'll write your contract. You know, chat GBT lets you know, hey, I'm not a lawyer, but I can provide you with, you know, certain stuff. So they give you, you know, the lender's name, which, you know, you and then the borrower, whoever's borrowing, the, you know, the money or whatever. Uh, you put all that information in there. You know, the loan period, how long, you know, you make up your own terms because you're not a bank, right? You make up your own terms, your own percentages on how they got to pay you back. You make sure they know the terms and conditions. They sign for it. And boom, simple as that. You are now a lender. You're not getting paid monthly payments till they pay you back. Or, like I said, you could do it that way, or you could just say, hey, I'm investing to this, but I just want a percentage of everything you bring in from here on to whatever you know amount of time that you say. So, again, you could do that with a million different small businesses, y'all. It don't even got to be photography. It could be cooking or whatever. It could be somebody who's just doing anything. And it's like, yo, I got the money for what you need. I can get that, but you know, I need a percentage. And if they agree to it, write the contract. You know, simple as that. All right, next, food trucks. Right, food trucks is lit. Like if you somebody who's not into food trucks, you ain't got to do this. But other people, there's a lot of people who want to have a food truck. They just didn't know how to get the money. So like I told y'all in the previous video, if you haven't seen the previous video, make sure you go watch that. But you know the credit way, simple as that. Like food truck right here, they want thirty eight thousand five hundred dollars for it. Right, if you go down, financing available. $5,500 down. So if you didn't have no credit cards and your job wasn't paying enough, how in the world would you be able to get this? You can't. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that you had the money on the credit card to just pull the $5,500 off, throw the down payment on, now you got a whole food truck that looks like it's already ready. You know what I'm saying? Unless you know you got to do the wraps and stuff like that, your own little personal customization stuff, right? It already got the setup in there. Everything's already ready to roll. Yeah, this is this come fully equipped. Oven, stove, everything included. So you already good to go out the gate. And then all you got to do, like I said, get the word out. And how you do that? Use your credit card to run advertisements or whatever. Drive around. Whatever you got to do, this is what the credit can be used for. You know what I'm saying? And you don't got to be worried about, oh, how I'm going to make money this and the third. It's like put in the work. But you do all the research beforehand. You know what I'm saying? So that way you don't just buy it and then be confused on what you do. All right. So what we got next? What can we do next? <clears throat> tiny homes, y'all. Tiny homes. They got tiny homes that, you know, uh, for $20,000 or less. You know what I'm saying? They got small ones. They got bigger ones. But $20,000, right? Now, if you got, like I said, $40,000, $50,000 in credit, $100,000 in credit, you could take $20,000 off by uh, a tiny home cash, or you could just finance one. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of different options out there. I know, like, Home Depot got some, too. Uh, $32,000. Like, this one look pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. Got the, the stairs in there. <laughs> that mug pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. But like, 
you could, again, finance some of this stuff or you could pay it straight cash and then guess what you can do with it from there? Airbnb it, y'all. Look at this. If y'all think I'm joking, it's a, Air, it's a million of these tiny home Airbnbs that are getting a lot of traction, y'all. Like, look at this. This one is nice. Very small. Got a little balcony on the back. This, that, and the third. Got a little upstairs for the loft area. Got the living room, the kitchen, all that stuff. And I'm telling you, you ain't got to be broke no more. You don't got to figure out how to get the money. I just told you how to get the money to do all the stuff you want to do. The only thing you got to do is plan what do you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You got to really think now. Okay, well, I know how to get the money. Now what do I need to do? What do I want to do with it? And once you do that, simple, y'all. Like and you, like I said, you can use credit to, to furnish it and this, that, and the third. Make deals with, you know... Uh, owners and stuff do seller financing and owner financing all kind of stuff like it goes deep like credit is it, it goes deep y'all all right my next thing use cars craigslist right i'm on craigslist right now you see a 2010 ford explorer 6800 bucks a lot of y'all need cars some people don't have a car some people need a car they be trying to figure out how, how they can get a car they tired of asking for rides and this that, and the third you don't have to you know what i'm saying if you had the credit Take the money off, buy it cash. Or holler at the owner, because a lot of times they'll do seller financing where they'll just seller finance it to you. You know, they'll make a little bit more, but then you could just put down a small down payment and then pay the sixty eight hundred off. By the time you're done with it, probably be seven thousand that you end up paying plus interest. But if you want to just take off sixty eight hundred, go buy it cash, and then you can get to and fro to wherever you want to go, right? This don't look that bad. It says it still runs and drives great, AC and heat, everything works. I mean, looking good. Or you can, like I said, you could use this and rent this out to somebody else. You know what I mean? Who may need the car. Like, it's a bunch of different plays with it, y'all. Uh, trailers. Boom. I know some people are doing this right now. They bought uh, <clears throat> a couple of these trailers, and then they started, like, junk uh, services. They they Sometimes they got the little box, the, the bigger box ones, uh, or the box trucks, but they start, like, junk removal services with these. And some people rent these out from them. So let's say you spent five thousand on it, right? Spent the five grand. You then put this trailer on Craigslist or wherever, or advertise it in your city or state, and say, "Hey, you know, I got this trailer for rent. You know, people can rent it from you. They can go do whatever they need to do with the trailer, bring it back to you, and you making monthly income off of that all day long. And you could do multiple trailers after you do one. You could buy another one, buy another one, buy another one. You know what I'm saying? Because people might just need short term." trailer rentals you know for a certain job or gig or to move some stuff or whatever the case is and you'll have that service available you know what i'm saying this is all different ideas that y'all could play with so another one let me see what else we got oh yeah did y'all know y'all could uh freaking rent cars from uber didn't know that till recently so you can rent a car from uber with your credit card rent a car just to do uber you know what i'm saying because some people don't have it but let's say you had the money on the card rent the car from them and make money through Uber, this, that, and the third. You can do that. Boom. Now, this right here, fire. Swap a lease. All right? So, these are people, uh, if you go to swapalease.com, I know Oklahoma, we don't have um, swap a lease because I probably would have did it a few times. But if you, in a bunch of these different areas, Texas, you know, California, Florida, I think y'all all got swap a lease. But uh, these are people who can't afford their lease, right? And instead of you having to go and do all the paperwork, this, that, and the third, you can just hop on here, find the people. So I'm going to give you an example. I mean, they got a million of different cars on here, all the way up to McLaren's and all the fancy stuff. But let's say I just do Mercedes Benz. Model of the car. I'm just going to do E-Class. You hit search, right? And these are all the people who cannot afford this lease, right? So you come in with the credit, and guess what you do? Take over the lease. Easy, right? So let's say you want this. $920 a month. Might seem like a lot to you at this moment, but when you got credit, it don't because we, we use credit to invest. So if this is a lot to you, then what could we do with this? We could take over the lease and then lease the car out to somebody else. You could do it like that. Take over the lease, put the car on two rows, some stuff like that, like little stuff that you could do uh, or just rent it out to family members or whatever the case is to turn it into a business to make money off of. Or you could just use it, you know what I mean? Whenever you need to. But again, that's what it's here for. So it'll let you know that, you know, they got, uh, it's a 72 month, uh, loan term. So I, I think it tells you how much they got left on it. 
somewhere in there. But again, this is swap a lease. They got, like I said, they got all the cars and people can't afford them. They, they need to get out of them and boom, you could be in there. And you could do the same thing with real estate. It's a lot of people who can't afford their homes. You could put your down payment in, catch them up on certain payments if they're if they're behind, and then move into their house without even having to go through all the financing. That's called subject two. You could do all of that stuff straight credit. You know what I'm saying? The dopest thing ever. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, a bunch of different places. Uh, different businesses need drivers. They need trucks. They did this, that, and the third. So again, this truck right here, box truck, thirteen thousand, thirteen thousand five hundred. Either you can take some money off your car for a small down payment of like three to five thousand, or you could just buy it all cash for thirteen thousand five hundred straight off the cards, right? And then take that truck and either uh, rent it out to different companies that may need it, or other people who are drivers that don't have a truck, they'll rent it out from you. You know what I'm saying? And you don't you just bought the truck and now that truck is making you a lot of money. Come on, y'all. Like I'm telling you, the credit way. This is why you ain't been able to come up in life because nobody told you this. We only use credit to invest. And then we use it for luxury stuff after that. So now we're going to get into the luxury part of things. And I'm going to show you how, you know, me and the queen turn up and how we, you know, live our lifestyle with the with the credit, using the credit, right? So, again, let's say, because we went to Atlanta before, and let's say we want to uh, – Fly first class. So let's say first class tickets usually around like depending where we're going, I'd just say like twelve hundred dollars. So twelve hundred dollars for the first class tickets, boom, take that off the credit card, right? Then when we was in Atlanta, we wanted to do a chauffeur service. So we wanted to get chauffeured around in a Rolls Royce, right? Or whatever car they got, you know, they got the Rolls Royce Cullinan, in, which is the uh SUV, they got the Rolls Royce Ghost, uh the, the Bentleys, all that. And that's gonna be what, let's say we do three days. Uh, I mean, not three days, but three hours. Uh, we want to have it for three hours. It's like nineteen hundred forty-three dollars, right? So let's say we chose this one. That's nineteen forty-three, and then let's say we just wanted to get a, a, a dope, you know, fire Airbnb. So I like this one right here, and that's gonna be what five hundred and I think eighty-five hundred a night. I said eighty-five hundred, <laughs> five hundred and eighty-three dollars a night. Yeah, it looked nice. So let's say we wanted to do that. Right, and this is how you can live good, y'all. So the first thing we do is we calculate all that up, right? And say, okay, boom, that amount will come out to about five thousand dollars, right, for a weekend, right? Now the first thing you can do is find out how much you make in the markets, right? How much you normally make. So me, normally, uh, in a week or in a day, I can make you know fifteen hundred. And up in a day, right? Uh, and my wife, pfft, see, you already know, she four, five, six, seven thousand a day, uh, any given day. So that right there, we could pay that back super quick. So we find out, okay, this is how much the trip is gonna cost. Now, how fast will we be able to pay this back with where we're at? So we're not trying to go above where we're currently at trading. Um, like doing sixty, seventy thousand dollar, you know, trips or nothing like that. But we go to where we're at. So I know I can my normal amount that I usually make is this, right? And so based off the trip, it would take me a day or two, maybe three days, maybe a week max to pay that back on my card. And then I swipe the card. Boom. We swipe the card. To pay for all the stuff. And then we hit the markets. Boom. Get it all back. Or we get it back, we we make it in the market and then uh, swipe the card. You know what I'm saying? Either way. Because if we didn't, let's say everything went terribly wrong. Let's say uh, we blew uh, the money that we was supposed to pay the trip back. The credit card, like I said, is so dope because depending on which one you use. Now, if you use the Amex, you got to pay it back in 30 days. But if you use a regular credit card, you get a monthly fee, right? And then I would just be able to deposit another $1,000 or whatever off my credit card and build that back up until I pay that off. Right, monthly making monthly payments on the credit card. You know what I'm saying? Until it's paid off, and we don't take another trip until it's paid off, and then we redo it again. Boom. And so that's how you can live, you know, a luxury lifestyle. So that's all I need y'all to do. All right. Find out how much you you can make, you know, uh, and then start start looking around. Like calculate all the stuff you want to do because you don't have to limit your life like that. Like a lot of y'all limit y'all life. Y'all don't think big enough. 
And so you don't even think like $585 a night seem like a lot to you at this current moment. But think you got to think bigger. You know what I'm saying? You got to think bigger because I'm telling you, the money is not the hard part to get. I didn't show you the credit way. You They're going to give you the money. So that part, you ain't even got to really worry about no more. Only thing you got to worry about is getting your credit fixed, right? Uh, rent reporters. Matter of fact, let me put let me pull this up so y'all know. Rent reporters. It's a, it's a few other ones, y'all. But rent reporters is one. Uh, it's a it's a couple of other rent ones, but you can report your rent if you're renting in an apartment or a house. You can report your rent every month, showing monthly payments going in, and your your score will go up. I told y'all the self app kickoff. Uh, all of those, getting secure credit cards or whatever. It's all about payment history. As long as your payment history is good and you don't like overspend to where you can't pay it back, you'll be good. But as long as y'all do that, y'all going to be just fine. Like I promise you, when that score starts to go up and they and you start applying and they start giving you money, it is a wrap, y'all. It's a wrap because they're telling you, all the money you need, the credit card companies will give you. Now you just need to have a plan. And if you want to live a dope lifestyle, you don't have to really change much. All you got to do is find things to invest in. Talk to people who got businesses because I'm telling y'all right now, you will get the money. It's, it's pretty much a guarantee. Once you get your credit fixed, get up there to the high sixes, 680, 700s, you're going to get the money guaranteed. Credit card companies are giving it away. They're going to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Because they want you to get it and mess up. That's like I told you. That's their plan for you to mess up. And then you got to pay them back a whole bunch of money. But if you plan it all out beforehand, you're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Talk to people who who's who doing Airbnb. You know, talk to people who has a trucking company. Talk to people who owns a barbershop or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be there in the next... You know, year, six months, a year, two years, you will be there as long as you get your credit fixed. Now we just need to know the steps. Okay, I got my LLC. I got my credit. Now I know how to leverage it. I know how to make moves. I know how to plan. I know how to be a good steward over my stuff. I know, hey, if I'm in the markets and I'm trading off a thousand dollars on a credit card, I cannot be that reckless. You know what I'm saying? Unless I know I got a backup plan. Like you cannot be in the markets trading reckless when you're trading with on, on the credit card because you have to pay it back. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get to that point. As soon the moment you make it back, withdraw it, pay the car back. You know what I'm saying? The moment you make the money back, withdraw, pay the car back. And again, if you want to take trips and live the luxury lifestyle and rent dope cars and do all that stuff and have a good time with your people, then you got to do it the correct way, y'all. You got to do it the correct way. Again, that peer-to-peer lending is dope because if you make, like I said, once you make the contract, you could talk to anybody. It's a lot of family members that need money. It's a lot of business owners that small business owners that need money. And if you come in and say, hey, I got money, but what do y'all need? Like it might be a food company that say, hey, you know, we need a new toaster oven or whatever the case is. And it costs, you know, 35, 4,500 4, or whatever the case is. And you say, OK, I got that, but I'm going to need a percentage. So you charge them whatever interest rate you want to charge them. You might have to Google that, you know, put in an interest rate calculator and just kind of run the numbers and see what's good enough for you because you want to get your money back plus interest. So you work those numbers out and you present it to them. If they agree, they sign the contract and boom, now you officially an investor. And then you could just invest in multiple businesses. And the best part about that is your hands is free. All you did was invest the money into them and they just bring you back checks. Multiple businesses bringing you checks all day long. And you did all that from a credit card. Dopest thing ever, y'all. Telling you. So, Hopefully, again, this video gets you inspired to get your credit popping because it's a million and one opportunities. I ain't even name all of them, but that's a million and one opportunities. And you can go out here and live your best life. All right. Love y'all. Hopefully, y'all love this video. Comment below what you think, your ideas and all that. And I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.